Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at question 1395, count number of themes. Um, the way we'll be approaching the solution is by uh, inspecting each and every element and looking at how many elements uh, that are to the left of the current element which are less than and greater than the current element and to the right that are less than and greater than the current element. So let's jump right in and we can, I can explain the logic as we go. Let's initialize um, the result that we're actually passing to be zero in the beginning, uh, n would be the size. Right, so let's start off with the for loop for i is equal to zero, i less than waiting dot length. Oh, so we have, since we have n, let's just do that. Um, and int j is equal to zero, j less than n. So as we discussed, we need to keep a track of the elements that are to the left that are less than and greater than the current element and the elements that are to the right that are greater than and less than the current element for which we need two um, integer arrays. So let's say a left and let's say new new int of size 2 and int right which is all uh, right 2 int of 2. So this array right here, the left uh, array, will will keep a track of, in the 0th index, we'll keep a track of all of the elements that are less than uh, the current element. And the left, uh, the first element, so the second element of the left array will keep a track of everything that's greater than uh, the current element. And the right will keep a track of, uh, right, right of 0 will keep a track of everything that's less than the current element, but to the right. And right of one will keep a track of everything that's greater than the current element to uh, the right. So, for example, if you take this example right here, control C, these, this is what the arrays would look like. So, let's say this is left and this is right. And we are looking at, let's say, let's take the middle element, let's take three. So, just for that particular element, in the number of elements that are less than, uh, less than, three to the left are one. The number of elements greater than three to the left are one as well. And the elements that are less than three to the left, uh, to the right are one, which is just one. And then the number of elements that are greater than uh, three to the right is one as well. So this is what the array would look like just for element three. So we have to do this for each and every element in uh, the given array. So we have this and we'd say, uh, hey, so if rating um, of i is greater than rating of j, rating of j, uh, what we would do is if i uh, is greater than j, we're asking and then it is greater than, so you would say true a 1 and 0 and 1. And then you would just do the same for right as well. So if rating of j is greater than rating rating of i, and then uh, and we do know that uh, j is greater than i, then what you would do is so it'd be one and zero. One and zero. And you do it increment the right. Okay. And after the for loop is done, you would add the result. So you would say left of zero multiplied by right of one. So it's saying all of the elements that are less than uh, a particular element multiply that by the number of elements that we have to the right that are greater than the current element. So that would form uh, this kind of a team right here that we see. And then for this kind of a team, which is uh, decreasing, you would do exactly the opposite. So that would be left of left of zero multiplied by the right of one. Uh, sorry. So after the for loop is done, you would just return the result. 
let's quickly compile this and see if it's okay. The first test case passes or the test case pass as well. So this question, uh, it's a little tricky and to understand this and visualize, it's better if you visualize it and try to understand it, um, understand the solution that way. But if you have any questions about the solution, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, let's quickly talk about the time and the space complexity of the solution. This time complexity of the solution is n square because of the two for loops that we have right here. The space complexity is O one, even though we're initializing uh, two arrays, they're relatively smaller in size and it doesn't grow um, in size. And that's the reason why we have off and space complexity. Um, so that's the solution. As I said, if you have any uh, questions about the solution, please let me know in the comments below. If there are any other uh, problems that you would like me to solve, please let me know in the comments below as well. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.